Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton. We're back here with another video today. And today we are going to talk about how to edit vertical video. Yes, you know, the dreaded vertical video from people who can't seem to orientate their phone the correct way when they're shooting video. So let's get at it. All right guys, so what I actually have pulled up here today is a video that I was making for a virtual wine tasting we're actually doing this weekend. The winery was kind enough to send us video about each of the wine bottles and actually each of the different locations they are grown in. Unfortunately, she put everything in vertical video. So what I'm trying to do here is piece together a video and make it look nice enough that we're actually able to use it for the wine tasting. So I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can actually edit vertical video. One is what you're gonna be doing whenever it has to go on a TV, how we can try to make it useful enough that it actually looks good on a horizontal screen. The second is another workaround. So let's get at it. Okay guys, so like I said, here's the timeline that I'm actually working off of to make this video. So we start off with some nice title sequences and then we get right into the vertical video. So what I did when we got to the vertical video portion is I actually took a background image of the bottles, darkened and blurred it up a little bit. So we would have some kind of border around this vertical video that we have to work around. So the idea we wanna work with here is we wanna fill as much of the frame as possible. So we need to look at each of the video clips and see what information we don't need versus what we do. Luckily, as you can see in this clip, she gave us a lot of headroom to work with. So what I can do here is zoom in and adjust the height to try to just get as much of the content that's actually usable as possible. And then we use that blurred out background as part of the scene. Now I know this is not ideal. We would rather have the entire frame filled with usable information, but with vertical video, that's really just not possible. It's too skinny. So we need to find a way that we can actually just trim down the edges as much as possible and keep useful information in those edges as well. So it's not just black bars. Now here's an option number two for vertical video. And this is only going to work when you're using displays that you can actually run vertically. If it's a TV, this won't work. You won't have a stand that will even able, be able to do this. But if you're using a monitor and purely for display purposes, you could just kind of lean into the fall. So if you look here, I made a second sequence and copied and pasted all of it in. And what I did here is make it nine by 16. So we're running 1080 by 1920. So when you go down the sequence, we're actually using all of that vertical video. And then what we're able to do is actually export it as nine by 16. And then we can run a vertical monitor at full screen and be able to use all of that information in the video and run it as vertical video on a monitor. So guys, the big takeaway from this is, is you wanna be able to zoom into that image as much as humanly possible to fill out the screen as much as you can. And when you can't fill out the entire screen from the information from the vertical video, try to make something interesting in the background that's not just black bars, but also doesn't take away from the video itself. If you are able to make a vertical screen like we did with the monitor, you can just kind of lean into it and just take it for what it is. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Just a quick one for Friday. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit up the comment section below. Be sure to hit like if you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials and reviews in the future. Until then, on to the next one. Thanks, guys. See ya.